I read today that George Bush is sending out 90,000 Christmas cards this year. Now, the big question is, will Dan Quayle finish licking those envelopes in time? <laughs> I thank you for your support. <laughs> Speaking of George Bush, the White House is going to have a new dog. What's the president's dog's name? Rex. No, Rex, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. Now I know what I'm up against. We got a cruel audience here. <laughs> no, it was Rex. They used to have Lucky. Yeah. Reagan's half. <laughs> 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 I'm dying, the guy in the audience is scoring big. <laughs> no, Re they had Lucky, they sent him out to the ranch in Santa Barbara, and then they got Rex. Right. They're gonna have a new, the dog is called Millie. Millie, Millie. yes, yeah. Millie. <laughs> Millie. Now, you didn't know about Millie because he was kept out of the spotlight during the campaign because Bush was fighting that uh, wimp image. So they didn't want him to have a dog named Millie. He was replaced temporarily by a pit bull named Butch. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> Millie's... <laughs> Millie's official duties will be the same as, as a Reagan's dog, and that's to pull the president away from Sam Donaldson's questions. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, uh, sure. All right. <laughs> How many of you saw the televised address of uh, Yasser Arafat address the uh, special session of the United Nations in Geneva? There was one small embarrassment. I don't know if you're aware of this, but apparently the airlines lost his luggage on the way over, and he addressed the General Assembly wearing a monogram towel on his head from the Geneva Hilton. 